What's up everyone, Josh here. So today I'll be showing you my living room setup and why I chose the things I have. The space is not 100% complete yet, but I'm happy with where it is right now. So without further ado, let's go. Alright, let's start with the sofa. I got this from a local furniture store. It is somehow inspired by some Scandinavian design. And I just think it's a very nice color that stands out in my space. Also because it's made out of leather, it has little to no maintenance at all. You can easily just wipe off any stain or spills on the sofa. Next, the coffee table. It's just a simple coffee table with an industrial design, um, really nothing fancy. I don't really need any drawers or any space uh, below the coffee table. I like to keep things really clean over at this spot. Over the side here, I have my pet. His name is Moo Moo. I just think it's cute and it adds a little bit of uh, personality to the area and it's practical at the same time. Moving on to complete the look, I have my rock. I think it gives you a sense of coziness when you're walking on it and it serves as a purpose where when you do not have enough seats, um, your guests can actually sit on it. The TV that I have here is the LG 65 inch UH650T. It's an entry level 4K with HDR support. The colors are not as good as the OLED version, but I get to keep my kidney, so that's a plus point. So most of the time I'll be consuming Netflix or YouTube on this TV. And whenever I want a game, I'll just turn on my PC and stream it over through the Nvidia Shield that I have here. So this guy here is the heart. It helps me with watching TV, listening to music, and gaming from my PC. Another cool feature that I really like with the NVIDIA Shield is that um, it can actually upscale your 1080p content to a 4K version of it. For my speakers, I have the ProDive Ribbon 5. It was originally made for people to monitor their music, but I like how they sound and uh, how flat they really are. In my opinion, I think the best way to listen to anything is from what the producers or the musician want us to listen to. And this guy gets the job done. And because the NVIDIA shoot does not have an analog plug, I had to get one of these uh, USB DAC, plug it into the NVIDIA shield and channel it out to my speakers. At the same time, they sound much better too. If there's anything I could change with the setup, it will definitely be the speaker wires. They are out and it's just an eyesore to look at. I totally forgot when I was renovating the place about the speaker wire. I did that for my TV, so I don't see any wire dangling down from the TV. But I guess I have to live with that, right? So, or I could actually upgrade it to a wireless speaker or something down the road. Lastly, to house the gadgets and all, I have this custom cabinet made. There's two openings in the middle and two drawers on the side. And I think the finish looks really good over here. It's attached to a panel for the TV to sit on and the wires to hide behind the board. And I placed some LEDs to have this glowing vibe and apparently it helps to reduce eye strain when you're watching TV too. So that's it on my living room setup. 
So I don't have like the fanciest TV or the fanciest gadgets and all, but my design philosophy is more towards like uh, practical and functional without breaking the bank. I try to link all the items that I have down below for you guys to check them out. If you guys have any lounge chair recommendation, please let me know down below too. I am looking for one. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.